Hi guys, this is uh, Claudio Barba, motion designer from Brussels, Belgium. I know you all want to be TikTok superstars or Instagram superstars or maybe even a YouTube short superstar. All the new social media where the vertical format is predominant. So it's very important to create content that is vertical. So from today you can create vertical bar charts in uh, After Effects using Barba Chart the script to create uh, chart races. You can now create horizontal bar charts, uh, donut charts and now also vertical bar chart races. So I'm going to show you how to do this in After Effects. So First thing to do is to create a new project so that we can start from scratch. Barba chart is already installed on my After Effects. It's here on top right corner as usual. If you want to know something more, if you have never seen it, I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can have a look at all the functionalities. Today we are going to see only how to do vertical bar charts. So you will need, of course, as usual, the data, a table um, in a CSV format. So let's import the data. Let's import this sample data here. And now you can modify the title if you want, uh, whatever you like, duration 30 seconds, uh, number of bars 6, because we have 6 columns, uh, full scale intro animation. OK, let's create two bar chart composition. This is going to create a horizontal bar chart. This is same as it was before. So let me show you here is the timeline. If we press space, you see this is very uh, typical horizontal bar chart. So what's new in the new version that will allow you to do the vertical bar chart? Here in the config layer, you click on here on the effect controls. You have many, many parameters as usual. I've added three parameters in the last version, which is the bar spacing. Bar spacing is just allowing you, you see that you can increase the space between bars. Let's go back to the initial version. You can modify the rotation of the labels. So now they are horizontal. You can modify the rotation here. If you put 45 degrees, for instance, it's going to be something that you can read in horizontal and vertical. You can also use it if the labels are too long here on the left. You can just use them in the horizontal version. But let's keep them like that for the moment. And then you have a vertical config checkbox that if you click, you see that the time variable has gone to the right side and also the values become uh, vertical. So now that we have the composition in this configuration, we just create a new sample, new composition with this one. So let's get the composition we have just created. Let's drag it here over the create composition. And then we go to composition settings. We can invert the width and the height. And we can just rotate our initial composition. You see that now it's still horizontal. But if you click on the timeline, click, uh, push R on the keyboard, and then we put minus 90, we have a vertical composition, which is totally readable, and we can render it and publish it in TikTok, uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube Shorts, whatever needs vertical format. So you see that uh, it's very easy. Mm, you still need some manual work uh, to create a new composition for the vertical, but I think that uh, it was the easiest way to, to deliver something um, as soon as possible because I had some clients, some users that wanted to create vertical bar charts. And so this is the easiest way and fastest way to deliver something which is working in just a matter of days. So. I hope that you find this new evolution interesting and useful. Let me know in the comments below if you have uh, some uh, questions, some uh, 
suggestion, something interesting that you need to share with the others. Thank you very much. Uh, if you are interested in watching more videos concerning barba chart and bar chart races, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I'm going to see you soon. Bye.